Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we have this shaft here that's experiencing torsion. It's got a twisting couple on each end. We got equal and opposite torques at two kilonewton meters. And uh, we have an allowable shear stress here of 85 megapascals. So we want to figure out what is our minimum diameter that we can have. Uh, maybe we should write that in, minimum diameter that we can have that will allow us to apply this load without surpassing our allowable shear stress. So the way that we do this is we use our handy dandy equation that we've been using in the past couple of videos. We have the shear is, uh, is going to be equal to T times C over J. So in this case, we know that we're going to be getting our maximum shear at the surface of the rod on the outer surface, radially out from the, the axis. So we're gonna be using the distance here of C and C is actually uh, is half of the diameter. So we need to figure that out. Uh, we're also using J here. This is our polar moment of inertia. T is the internal torque in any section. And uh, we're going to be plugging in our allowable shear force because we just don't want, we want to figure out uh, what diameter we, we can have uh, for this shaft. All right, so knowing that this is equal to 85 megapascals, we'll plug that in. And uh, we know that our internal torque at any point in this shaft uh, is going to be 2 kilonewton meters. And we don't know what C is yet, so C is going to be our unknown. And the equation for the polar moment of inertia for a solid rod, if you remember, is just pi over 2 uh, times the diameter to the power of fourth when the diameter, or sorry, the, the radius when the radius is in meters. So we get pi over 2 times C to the power of 4. All right, so if we convert 85 megapascals to pascals and multiply it by pi over 2, we're going to get 133,517,688 uh, pascals. And I do that just because you see, I want to just check that the equation is going to work out in our favor. Um, and I'm going to convert kilonewton meters to newton meters. So this is equal to 2,000 newton meters. And then we're still left with times C here, and this is in meters, and uh, divided by C over 4. So we can actually cross off, we can, uh, oops, we can uh, divide out this C here and reduce this to C to the power of 3. And now when we inspect this, look at this, we have pascals on one side, and we have newtons times meters divided by a number that is going to be in meters to the power of 3. So if we have the units there, we have newtons times meters over meters to the power of three. Well, we can cancel those, so we'll be left with newtons per meter squared, and that's in units of pascals. So this equation makes sense. We have pascals is equal to this expression, which is also in pascals. All right, so that's a good check for us. We're on track. All right, so let's just do a, a rearrangement around here. So we'll bring C onto this side. We have 2,000 newton meters all over this big number. And this is all to the power of one third, right? To cancel that guy out. So it's the power of one third. And uh, we'll notice here that we can, uh, we can actually change around these units a little bit. If we see we have newtons, we can cancel that out with those newtons and we can bring these meters squared up to this level. So this is actually the same thing as 2000 over this number uh, in meters cubed. So when we divide these numbers and then raise that to the power of one third, we get uh, this is equal to 0 0.0247. And then we have to take care of the units here. We have meters to the power of three and we take that to the power of one third. So we end up with just this number being in meters. And if we want, we can put this into millimeters. It might be a little bit easier for us to see. We have 24.7 millimeters and that is C. That is the distance here from the center out like that. That is C. So what we want to do is we want to find out what the minimum diameter of the rod was. So we'll just multiply that by 2. So we have D is equal to C times 2. So we have 24.7 millimeters times 2 and that's going to give us our minimum diameter of 49.4 millimeters. So as long as this rod is 49.4 millimeters in diameter and we apply this uh, this twisting couple of two kilonewtons, uh, two kilonewton meters on each side, 
then we'll be uh, then we'll be just hitting that allowable shear force and providing that we have some appropriate safety factor uh, then everything will be a okay